TriPack 3 basic HMI navigation. So first off, to power it up, you hit the power button. It will say what version of software that is loaded on it. And then it will go into configuring the system. And then it will bring you to this main screen. So right now the mode that it's in is off, obviously. You can see it says down here that it's off. This is your mode button, right? So if you hit the mode button, that will cycle it through fan mode, which is just the fans running, cool mode, and then you can see what your set point is, or heat, and then back to off. Okay, so whenever you're in these modes, this will tell you your fan speed. You have three different fan speeds. Right now it's an auto. If you hit the button, low would be one fan blade illuminated, medium would be two fan blades, three would be high. So it will always tell you what fan speed you are in. Now this is also, as I said before, it points out your set point, which you can change by hitting the up or down keys. And this also tells us that we have an alarm. And if you hit the alarm button, you can scroll through the alarms. It'll, and then if you wanted to view an alarm, it will bring you to the alarm screen telling you the alarm code, the title of the code, and the reason for the code. And then to get back, you just keep hitting back until you're back here at the main screen. To turn it off, a quick push will just turn the screen off so that it's not illuminated and casting light into the sleeper. Then another quick push will turn it right back on. To actually shut it down, you would have to hold down the off key or the power key. And then it will bring you to a menu of what do you want to do. So you can go to standby, monitor mode, shut down, or back out. So if you wait too long, it goes into monitor mode, which means that it does nothing until you touch a key. Sure you want to exit monitor mode? Yes. And then it brings you back to normal operation. To shut it completely off, when you hit that menu, you would just hit shut down and it would turn the HMI off.